Hi everyone! This is the, the setup. We've got wires and things everywhere. I know it should be a tiny bit more organized. I'm gonna be doing my nails and they're gonna look like that, which is gonna take me a very long time to do. I'm just being honest, I have the absolute most worst way of taking nails off and I, it's so unhealthy for nails so do not recommend it's not even, it's not a tutorial i'm not even going to name it a tutorial but i literally just clip them off and rip them off i know i know i know but if you just like close your eyes and then that's it all. just close your eyes and don't don't follow this procedure but by the time i've probably taken these off i think it's going to take me an hour so i think the sun will have set by then <laughs> Just being honest. You know what? Let's go through all the tools that I have. So I've got my crusty dusty nail clipper. I've got my e-file from Amazon. I've got my partially damaged UV baby lamp. These are the new products. So I bought these. These are build nail gel set, but all of the nude colors, which I'm excited for. And then from exactly the same brand, which is what I'll be using today, is the four in one nail glue gel which is what is actually sticking those nails on and then this is the red the sun is already in my eyes oh it's actually making me cry a little bit got some nail files oh of course just nail varnish remover what you will need is and this is what makes your nails last so for anybody's nails who keep chipping off like coming off completely what you need to use is the nail prep dehydrator and then after that acid free primer these two things i these saved my life but these are the key to nails to having them stuck on i had these nails temporarily on none of them have come off they're so like sturdy bitches anyway i'm gonna now shut up and take all of my nails off i'm just going to i decided i'm gonna do it off camera um, I'm gonna take all of these off. Look, I've already started half taking this one off, but this is what I mean. So I just cut it and then, is that my, that is my phone. But I'm just going to, I've just cut it and then I've just started taking them off. But it's actually much easier than I thought it would be, but I'm gonna do that to every single one. I will be back when every single one of my nails are completely done. Mm. I can actually see what my setup looks like now. Right, bye, right, okay, you, I've had enough. It's been a hot minute. It's been that much of a hot minute, the sun's set and it's only here now. I've taken them all off. I've cut my cuticles and got all my dead skin off on this hand and this hand's left. So do you see that compared to that? I've added in a little clip here. So essentially all I'm doing is cut all my cuticles off like that on every single hand. I filed them with this e-file just to make them all nice and smooth. Just showing you step by step. I've done that to e din. I've done that. I've done that. Done that to every single nail. Finished my orange as you'll see. And now we're on to a nice coffee that Laura I made. Laura. Mm, mm. Top notch. Oh, I missed our coffee machine so much. We. I am now back. Prepped all everything. My skin is a tiny tad bit dry. Prepping my nails and taking them off took me an hour. I'm just gonna show you what Larry's doing. He's just sat here whilst I'm doing my nails and he's, that's his face. He drew <laughs> his own face. And then my eyes. I just think that's so cool how you've managed to do all of that. We've got all of these nails that I bought. We've got from zero to, I believe it's 11. One, two, three. I'm just gonna put all of my nails down in order. I've used a 10, an eight, a seven, a seven, and a four. I'm grabbing my file. I go on the inside and I just file it on the inside. Do you see how now the inside has got that? Look, it's not on the outside, not here, on the inside. So the bit that's actually being stuck onto my nail that's what I'm filing and then also I'm gonna file down the edges so that they're much more smoother so basically I'm gonna go in like that because at the moment they're quite they don't like sit flush on my nail so the edges need to be filed so that they blend so when I put it on it goes in nicely but then this one so that's my second thing it doesn't like blend in I don't know how else to describe it, but I'm going to do that to every single nail. But I'm going to film a little bit of me doing it just so that you can do it along with me. 
listening. Time lapse. We're done. Every single one of them is done. I can officially unplug the nail file. Oh, my neck. And I can officially plug this in. Oh, this is the, the new one. I prefer doing um, these blue ones. So much easier. So, so much quicker. So I've got these two items. Remember from the start of the video, the very important two items. Mm. The first item, don't get these two mixed up with the one step and two step. The first one you do is you dehydrate and then you put primer on. I'm putting the, the dehydrator on, tapping it off a little bit with the excess. So putting it on like that. Dehydrate the nail and then I'm gonna tap this primer on, but I'm not gonna do too much because I don't want it to be too wet. And I'm just going to apply a layer on that as well. And that is your nail prepped. So you've filed, dehydrated and primed. And now it is ready. It's ready for the glue. This is an actual nail glue. This is like proper, the proper stuff. So then I'm going to do very, 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 very thin layer on my nail. And I'm not curing that. And then I'm going to take this and then I'm going to put it on here and a tiny bead. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot at all. Make sure there are, well, try and make sure there are no air bubbles. And the reason why you don't need a lot is because if you put too much on, it will overflow. So then your lamp, of course, have your lamp ready so that you can put it under from the top. And then you're going to slide it down. And then once that's all done, you push it down and you put it under that UV lamp and then you cure it. Amazing. That's on. It's it's fully cured. Shebang along. I'm gonna do that to every single nail. After sticking these all on, I am gonna go around with the nail drill, just around the the cuticle, just so that it can seal it a little bit more. Gonna do that. Gonna file. Gonna prep some more. Make sure they're all blended, and then we're gonna go in with the shape. We're not staying this long. We're not jostling from 2021. If you want a shorter, snappier version, step by step, close up, very close up, go on TikTok. That's where it will be. We have come to a point of the lights need to be on because it is currently... So that took... That took 47 minutes. I'm going to cut them first to this length. See how I'm feeling about this. I think this is the length that I want to go for. I do that. And then I cut the sides. It looks like that. But I am going to actually be filing that so it won't actually look like that to the edges. And then I'm going to file the sides. So this is like a not sharp almond. So it's not stiletto, but it's, it's like a sharp almond slash soft stiletto. I'm going to do that to every single one of them. This usually doesn't take that long, so I think it would be like 10 minutes. And then after that, I'm going to be putting the colour on. Let the Grinch with that look. <laughs> ah, okay. I need to do this. I just, I can't let it stay that flat. I, I need to put a builder on it so that it can have an apex. I believe it will maybe be this one. Nope. This is the, the only colour. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to grab a bead. And then I put it in the middle like that. And then do that. So that's the apex. You've made it. And then drag it down. And that's all you need to do for every single nail. Up and down. I think that is the perfect nail. Let's see, that is better than that. Long time, no fucking city. <sighs> what can I say? I've been through a tough time. Did the buy up. Literally just finished doing the second hand. I've done it on all of them. This is what it should look like. So obviously the, the like apex, my lipstick has actually come off the powder soup in between. So that's why at the moment it is 9.39, great. So that's what it should look like. Then you should file them. So I left one nail just to show you. So you file the rest of them. And then I put two layers of this on. So this is the end result. And I don't really like the color of that. I'm going to find a nail varnish that's like a white tone. I've got my little pouch of nail varnishes. I have this one. Oh, I do. Thank God. This is 
Essie, this is in the shade Lime I've seen. See, it's quite white, but I know that it's like a transparently white. And then this will turn it into that nice milky white, yeah. So do you see the difference between this nail and this nail? This one's, these two, the middle one more white than this one. That's what we're going for. I've done it. We're on to the, the hard part. I've got this nail varnish, which is this one. It's nice, it's nice. This is what I'm using, the thin, thin brush. I'm gonna go in with the design. I'm gonna put some on this brush. Fingers fucking crossed. Pretty good as well because red, red is a very serious color. Okay, okay. I'm nervous, I've done one stroke. Okay, how did she do it? How did she do it? She went in like that and then she went over, okay, okay, okay. I figured out what I did wrong, so I did the, the shape completely wrong. So that's what it's looking like now. I'm much more brighter in person. I did that on one side and I think I'm just gonna join it up. See, I'm trying to love them. Yep, fine. I'm gonna do all of them, I'm gonna come back. Fingers crossed, I'll like them, but that's all I'm doing. I'm literally just doing a design. Fingers fucking crossed. I don't like them. I hate them. But I'm done. I'm done. That's where I was sitting. I've spent so much time. My lipstick has come off. It's currently... It's 23.12. I started at 5.30. 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30. 9.30, 10 10.30. That's five fucking hours. <sighs> I'm gonna have a coffee and a magnum. As an apology to myself. I just... They're just like, there's so many more things. Like, why... <laughs> Just do it like that, like, oh, look at that. I like them from a distance. I just don't, no, I, re I really don't like them. Am I being too picky? No, I'm not. I'm really not. I think I need some space from my nails. Right. So there's going to be a part two to this where I'm going to fix it and I'm going to make it right. That's it. Good night for today. Hi, guys. This is a completely new day. I've redone my nails. I know I should have done them on camera, but I thought I hadn't done a proper ending to the recent video. Now I'm at my mum's with baby. Yeah. And I just wanted to say I've redone them. They look nice now, I'm happy now. I think I was just having a moment, but thank you very much for being there. I'm definitely gonna do another one in the future where I definitely will like them. But for now, adios. Say goodbye. Baby, say goodbye. Baby, say bye. He's going camera shy, he's clueless, bless him. Okay, right, bye guys.